Hey there, YouTube and everyone. Uh, let me get my camera correct. Okay, so um, I just want to pop on here a little bit and just talk about something really quick that has been coming up in our community a lot. Let me put my earrings on. But, um, you know, your mineral deficiency causes a lot of things that we don't need, a lot of things we don't want. Um, mineral deficiency causes a lot of um, um, depression, heart attacks, strokes. Uh, and mineral deficiency also normally comes from alcoholic beverages, painkillers, uh, diabetes, medication, uh lack of vitamin C, lack of vitamin D. And so we have to learn to eat our minerals um, with fruits and veggies. You know, when you don't eat correctly, when you don't eat correctly, you think incorrectly. When we don't eat correctly, we do things that doesn't make sense. We, we, um, we act out in ways that we shouldn't be acting out because it's a mineral deficiency. And then also from the mineral deficiency, you start getting the flu. You start getting colds. You start getting all of these things. I was just talking to a client today telling them that when it comes to eating correctly and herbs, a lot of us, we wait until we get sick. And then once we get sick, now we want to eat correctly. We want to get all of our herbs in and things like that. And that's something that you can't do. Herbalism and eating correctly and eating to live is just that. Eating to live. That means 24-7. Even in the summer months when there is no viruses really going around like flu and things like that. You must make your body a hostile environment from diseases. And the only way to do that is to eat clean so that we can think clean. And if you think clean, um, it, it, it just, it, it helps with so many things. Um, I was talking to a young woman the other day and she, she's constantly getting BV. She's constantly getting BV. Uh, it's like every time she clear it up, she gets it again. Now, here's the thing. You can never clear up vaginal infections if you're constantly eating vaginal infections. What I mean by that is if you're eating a lot of shrimp and lobster and beef and pork and processed foods and bacon and eggs, then that's what you're going to get out of your vaginas. So we have to learn also um, what we put in our mouths come out of our bodies. So what we put in our mouths, what you put in your mouth um, has a great effect on your body. Um, I usually drink elderberry tea and I take uh, black seed and all of oregano and clove oils and things like that. This is my everyday life. I have not had the flu in way over probably 25, 26 years. Um, because what's happening with my body is the herbs have built up over the years. And this is why I tell people, don't wait until you get sick. And then when you get sick, you want to, oh, give me some elderberry, give me this. You have to build your body up. You have to build your cellular system up. You have to build your minerals up so that you, know, so that you won't have the mineral deficiency. This is some, you can't drink alcoholic beverages. You can't do a lot of pain pills and diabetes meds and the birth control. Um, there are other ways to, if you don't want to become pregnant. Um, but once again, birth control also causes mineral deficiencies, which leads to depression, which leads to thinking irrationally, which uh, goes into um, BV and vaginal discharges all the time. We just have to learn to relearn. <clears throat> uh, this is why on my website today, uh, well, yesterday, actually, 
I did a 10 buck sale that sold that. And I have products on there that was $110, but everything on my website is 10 bucks. And I'll leave that in the description box because I want people to be able to get the detoxing that they need. Our phaser system is very, very good. Um, I'll give you another example of mineral deficiency, autism. My son used to have autism. I would say he's probably 95 or 96 percent free of autism. And that's because I built his minerals up. OK, from bladder wreck, yellow dock, um, sea moss was the number one. Uh, my son is vegan. Um, he doesn't do meds. We don't do meds. Uh, we don't even have medical insurance because it's not needed. Uh, our medical insurance is basically um, what we eat. You know, actually, really what we eat just uh, it helps our body. We don't be sick. Uh, sometimes my son, he will go and he'll catch a little bug from someplace, but it's only for like 24 to maybe 48 hours and his bug is gone. So if you eat correctly, you're going to think correctly. If you eat correctly, you have uh, great minerals in your body. Uh, the sea moss and bladder rack, it will give you 92 of the minerals that you need. OK, and the other little minerals that you uh, need, you get that with your food, um, your vitamins from the food. You get it from your herbs, um, your waters, uh, your distilled waters. So, um, yeah, it's just we, we just have to do things differently. We also have to learn to. We also have to learn that we don't have to stop eating the great foods that we liked before we became vegan. Or if you're trying to go vegan, there are, like for instance, myself, I used to love what you call Italian beefs uh, dipped with hot peppers. And it was the white bread. So now my bread, my bread, if I want to make my vegan Italian beef, my bread is just lettuce. Inside of that, it's just a bunch of veggies, uh, all kind of veggies I throw in there. And then I put like maybe vegan cheese on it. I melt it a little bit. And then I go and I put my Garnier's on there, uh, my onions. And to be honest with you, it actually tastes like I'm eating an Italian beef. So we just have to learn how to redo things, recook our foods, and... Um, just be ready to learn to relearn. Okay, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to answer this call. It's a very important call. Okay, peace and blessings.